you are not by yourself. <laughs> you are not by yourself. You are not alone. You see what is happening on a mass level in our community all over the world. You see the dynamics of how the universe is sweeping the cobwebs of old negative vibrations that has tried to hold us down, try to keep things the way they were for comfort for others and uncomfortability for yet even others. And there's more people. It looks as though uh, when you look at entrepreneurship, when you look at the client base, especially in your location, you start to map out and you start to see who's the most comfortable in your community and who's not. And That plays a significant role in how you respect those energies that sweep the world, how the world is being seen through the eyes of social media, mass media, etc. So holding on to what you desire, holding on to your success, no matter how others feel it should be, it should go. If you're not harming and you're only helping then you're on the path of the right way to do it. So I want you to understand that. See, there is a universal sweeping out of cobwebs on this planet, and it's going to be closing out very soon. There's a reason why there's a pagan uh, understanding of a holiday called Halloween. It's a Halloween. It's the portal between the alive and the unalive. And there are going to be times where as an entrepreneur, you're going to wake up and you're going to get a client call. You're going to see this person was so nice to you one minute in the next minute. They're ready to, you know, sue you. They're ready to, you know, uh, um, put you on the media. They're ready to, you know, they're lying on you. They're slandering your name. They're you know, ridiculing you for the things that you do as an entrepreneur. There's going to be a time that that's going to happen. But what you got to remember is there's going to be a portal closing where those energies no longer have the ability to even manipulate what it is you're trying to do. Because when that time is over and we recognize it, it rises to the top, just like foam when we're, you know, uh, beating an egg, an egg white. That foam rises because the weight of it is separated from the actual um, process and it's it's being manipulated. It's being uh, reconditioned. So then it rises to the top. And what do you do? You skim it off the top. It no longer serves your higher good. And eventually everything will be put into a box, put into a portal and shipped away. And the universe will remove it from your life. It will no longer affect you. The negative comments on good things that you're doing on social media when you recognize that you're in a platform that is specific to the people around you. I recognize and I need you to recognize, you know, what is going on. Welcome to Chronicles of a Nonprofit, episode 72. We are looking at the concepts of a private conversation that I feel is very vital and some parts of the conversation has been left out due to confidentiality. Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. October 26th, 2023. Phenomenal time. My heart goes out to those who have experienced the mass um, issue in Maine um, for those who are have been taken from their their physical realm, um, we honor you, and we're going to give a moment of silence to you right now. May you rest. And for those of us who are still ob- observing the situation. What is happening is that, again, the universe is sweeping out all the cobwebs of 
negative energy no longer serving the higher good of humanity and it's wiping it out to move it away just like slavery it was wiped out to move it away so that we would have freedoms in in one area of our lives relating to that time's energy has passed on and we no longer need it so now we're moving into this whole uh, elevation of conscious awareness and moving into the frequency of entrepreneurship that is going to excel us. So right now, entrepreneurs, again, when you're finding that people are becoming critical of your successes, it's okay. The energy, that old vibe is, is skimming itself to the top so the universe can sweep it away. Just give it a few more days. Just relax. It's going to be okay. You know, you are in control of everything that you accept or not accept. And when you have your group of people, a lot of people are trying to manipulate the mindsets of entrepreneurs to prevent them from going forward because it will make others uncomfortable. It will take, you know, but there has been a time in our lives that Many of the uncomfortable people have been uncomfortable. Why the comfortable have been living in excess abundance? And, and this time is not supposed to happen? Absolutely it is supposed to happen. It is supposed to happen. Why? Because it is that time. We are consciously aware. And we recognize. So... We recognize. And with that recognition, we're going to get some achievement, you know? As I sit back and I listen to you talk to me about what you're experiencing right now, I have to tell you that those energies that walk this planet as spiritual vibe is still around as well as those who are still in the physical realm, okay? And there comes a time where we're going to have to recognize that we're dealing with spiritual and reality. We're dealing with them both. And so there's going to come a time also you're going to realize that these energies are using the mindsets of weak-minded people, people who indulge in drugs and alcohol and uh, depression and uh, narcissism. And these, these people are being used by forces that play a significant role in their lives. And when we recognize and observe it, we separate from that and we just watch it. We watch what happens because when the time's energy is complete, it is done, it is removed, and a better day shows up. So you continue to hold on and, and continue to have faith. No, you are not alone. I see the robots. I see the clones. I see those people who are in competition with individuals that are doing their own thing in their own lane, but they're somehow or another competing with the mindset and the thought of someone else being comfortable when they've been comfortable all their lives. But karma does play a significant role in how a business grows, how a person thrives, how they flourish in the midst of chaos. I'm going to say that again. There will come a time where people will sit back and be removed from their comfortable position because it is time for others to step forward on their throne. And there's nothing that they can do about it. No hate, no unalive, no nothing can stop it. If the individual, the entrepreneur, the leader in their lives, the basic foundational structures are strong and karma is real, it's going to project what we believe, it becomes our reality. So continuing to see life in a good positive outcome, meeting greater people than meeting, say you meet 70 people 
And out of the 70 people, maybe 10 will have a negative comment. You block that comment. You return that comment back to sender. You empower yourself to know, wow, this is really live. This is really real. People are really listening. (laughs) They're seeing. And there's nothing that they can do to not There's nothing that they can do to unsee it. And that's where the hate, the jealousy, the envy, the the desire to want to sabotage comes into play. But if you know this, then that energy has no power. It has no power upon you. And it will never empower anything other than the thoughts that are, are revealed from your manifestations, what you're believing in the seeds that you plant within your life. So as a client, as an entrepreneur that's growing, I recognize the um, impact of, you know, should I give up? Is this something that I shouldn't do? I'm here to tell you, don't let the bully of influence impact your growth, because that is what it is all about. Because again, why should you be uncomfortable to allow others to remain comfortable? Why? When everyone has a right, every single person on the face of this planet came with a social security number and a birth date. And it's all, and you may share the same birth date, with another person, you may even have a twin, but you have separate live birth numbers. So in that birth number, you have the ability to run your life the way you independently choose. And if people can unalive others in mass numbers and, 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 you know, if they can do that because they choose to, They can also do the right thing. They can also be on the side of goodness. They can also try to be a success. They don't have to do all that. But then again, I have no idea because these forces around us have to sweep out the universe and they have to make it a new day. And out of chaos comes harmony. Out of the stress in life, we begin to merge together. And I have great people that are merging and walking together with me. Forget this local area that we're that people seem to know us in. Even Jesus Christ had to go to other areas of the world and administer the conversation of awareness. And in doing so, he met great individuals. We're not talking about the negative side of what man can do. Because, oh well, oh well, it is that time. It is that time. But just be aware, be ready, and be armored at any given moment. And that's what we have to do when we put ourselves into that entrepreneurial position. We cannot be afraid. We cannot go back because if we go back, they win. Those who are comfortable will continue to be entitled. They will continue to have that funkiness in their energy. Their, I'm gonna, I'm, I've been here for X amount of years, and I can do it this way or do it that way. Or, I know uh, I'm friends or I'm family members to a person of elite status. So. You're going to have to be the peon and you're going to have to be down below. No, that time is over. The Aquarian energy has taken, uh, has taken impact. And those people who are unafraid will be the longest standing individuals who will empower hundreds of thousands of individuals. You will empower so many people in the niche in which you serve if you be not afraid and be prepared for all things. We're letting nothing surprise you. And this is the part of being paranoid, quote, paranoid. Everyone uses that term. 
if you're not aware of what is taking place in your life, then anything can creep up on you at any moment and you will have no ability to fight it. You know, you got to be a fighter. And not just to the influencers that's trying to prevent you to be a success because if you take that success and you open it up, people will begin to say, oh, I can do that too. Oh, so this is how they do it. Mm. Let me show you the blueprint. It's very easy. It's very simple. And it doesn't take a million dollars. It doesn't take a grant. It doesn't take a loan from a bank. It just takes passion, heart, love, balance. That's how the majority of people did it in the mom and pop days. You know? So so this conversation is... <laughs> It is awesome because it's bringing me back to a time when I remember my grandmother always telling me, don't buy into the hype. Your influence of being a millionaire in this life, in this world called planet Earth, is all about how much energy and passion you put into the heart of what it is you love to do. That makes you who you are. Yeah, you can report X amount of dollars to the IRS, but, you know, in your heart space, morally, the IRS can't put a tap or a number on your passion. If we were to report how much we made in passion, how much we made in loyalty, how much we made in, you know, uh, support, that in-kind service, if that was able to be matched, we would all be millionaires. We would. Because I know that people do things and no one knows they're doing them and it's all for the good of humanity. Other than that, everything would be chaotic at all times and it's not that way. So out of 70 individuals, Maybe 10 will have something negative to say about what it is you're doing. But then we can either buy into the hype of those 10 people to make it look as though it's everyone. Or we can buy into the 70 that are or 60 that are saying you're doing a great job. You keep going. You keep building. You keep believing. You know, because a lot of people can sit back and they can vouch that they've been knocked down. Hell, I was knocked down. But I got back up, even in the midst of saying that, oh, my God, I'm facing a whole situation in my life that I cannot even fathom how I am going to make it out. But again, karma and the loyalty and the pureness of heart is what motivates us to validate if we are going to be penalized on our own guilt. We are our own judge, jury, and executioner and successor. (laughs) So let them talk. Let them say whatever they want to say. Stay away. Observe all. Pick up on what you need to discern 100% vitally what your spirit is saying to you and do not allow others to manipulate how you see things. If you do that, you're going to fail. If you're going to listen to what others have to say about you, you're going to fail. You sit back and you look at what your committee, what your true board, and even being mindful of them too, how much they're willing to impact, you know, the world for what it is you're you're trying to promote or are they propagandizing themselves so you got to sit back and you got to say to yourself who can i trust you yourself for first and foremost and sometimes when that past try to creep in and come back to you you got to say no it's in the past for a reason there's a reason why it did not last over the course of time and you cannot be afraid to let old manipulative energy 
that was at your weakest moments, that tried to influence what you would do with your life, you have to let that go and believe so hard in yourself that you can stand up on your own. And that's where a lot of people get scared, see? A lot of people get scared because they're afraid to stand up for themselves. They're afraid that they may fall. And, oh, my God, if I fall, I want so-and-so in the past to catch me. Well, how do you know they're going to catch you anyway? They're in the past for a reason. Leave them there. Leave them sit there. Let them watch you from a, from a distance. Because believe me, you, everything has a purpose, a reason, a season, and an impact in our, in our abilities to be who we're going to become. So as strong entrepreneurs, shining entrepreneurs in this society, you know what I'm talking about. All of this makes sense to you. And it could be a family member, an ex. It could be uh, someone from your past. It could be someone in your present moment. It could be someone you're going to meet in the future. But you clearly understand every word that is coming out of my mouth right now. But there's a sweeping. The universe is doing a sweeping of the planet. And every cobweb from the past is going to be swept Dust it up and taken to another portal to be closed, finalized, and unable to ever come to the place of this observatory position for the rest of our lives. There's all, Saturn is always, Saturn is a planet that is continually teaching us lessons. And as entrepreneurs, you must know those lessons. If not, you're going to be caught up. And not in a rapture. That rapture is what you make it. It's your livelihood. It's your influence. It's your impact. Some people think that they're better because they own versus rent. That's not how it should be. As long as we have a home, as long as we have a place we can call our own, that's what matters. And it's easy to, to become an owner. All you have to do is put in a little work, a little time, and stay committed without allowing other things to influence you or distract you. You know, there's always ways that we can maneuver through this world. So I want you to think about this. And as you write in your journal today, I want you to ask yourself, at what point am I allowing these negative situations from my past to creep into my present moment and try to devour my future moments because that's what's happening and I see it very clearly and I'm very observant to the energies that surrounding you know I was looking at the main uh unaliving um with within the last 24 hours and one thing that I recognized, and I don't know if it's because we have tapped into so much devastation until we are numb to, you know, negativity, or if it is genuinely that we have no understanding of how to even express something of fear at that magnitude. But when I saw those people explaining what, how their loved ones haven't called them, they have to be locked in their homes and different things like that in order to be able to have a have a you know a peaceful community at this point because everyone and anyone could be responsible for this thing you know i mean i have to look because me myself i have to make sure that people in which i service are safe that people in which i i work with are you know, legit. <laughs> That's why background texts are so important, especially in today's society. So we can't just use that mentality of the old way and see a world that is so embellished by so much chaos. We have to remember who we are and where we are. So I thank you for being a part of this conversation. I hope this helped you in a way that gets you to understand that you are not alone as an entrepreneur. 
the highs and the lows that come with this energy is all about watching your higher power work for you on your behalf. There was a sweeping of old energy that is getting ready to be portalized and put into a, a realm where it'll never be able to touch us again if we believe it. That's all we have to do is believe it and know that it is real. And with that being said, be your best. Thank you for being consistent. Thank you for being ready and prepared. Thank you for being the best person you can be in this world in the shoes you're in because you're rocking it, baby. You're doing your thing. And the reason why you're doing it is because you were born to do it. And no one can take that priority away. So hold on. And we'll see you next time.